Okay, so here's two one-piece angle stop supply line combos. One of these are way different than the other one. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today we're checking out two different styles of angle stop supply line combo. We're putting these two bad boys head to head. I'm gonna show you what's inside. We're gonna discuss it a little bit and I still don't want you to buy either one. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so this right here is actually a shark bite one piece angle stop supply line combo, right? This is very common these days. You see these in the store all over. You can buy these all day for between 17 and $20 all day long, okay? This is easy, it's solid metal. This is a braided flex stainless steel supply line, meaning there's a hose inside and all this is interwoven stainless steel for a no burst feature. And it comes with this interesting gas cap feature for easy install on your faucet. All right, you can see that this is solid brass connector and then they just put plastic and they said it's kind of like a gas tap, gas. So they said this is kind of like a gas cap style of connection. Like once you get this on there and get it started, once you start hearing clicks like you're a gas cap, then you're stopping and you're good and that's gonna create a good seal. Interesting. I've never tried one of these out. We might put this on something at some point just so I can test it and see what's going on. I do like, this is a quarter turn style ball valve. This is good. I just wish that it was two piece. You know, I actually looked online look this up and they said that you cannot replace this. They don't sell a replacement part. It does look like it comes apart. We're gonna crack it here in a couple minutes and uh, check that out. I just wanna see what the inside is. Maybe we'll see if that ball is actually metal. It looks like it should be. Here, I guess we can just change it right there. And I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming that it is. We'll take a look in there, all right? You know, before I had cut open a push to connect fitting, right? This is that shark bite style of fitting. These things have been around since, I don't know, probably 20 years or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. I mean, this style of fitting has been around. These have been around a long time, I think sometime in the 80s, right? But this shark bite brand actually was like 2004, okay? That came on the scene and it's just kind of dominated everything at this point. But O-ring... It's got the little metal retainer clip in there. When you push this in, it holds it in place. When you want to pop it out, you've got to push this down. It releases, pulls it out, right? That's what this looks like inside. So I chopped this bad boy out because I wanted to see what the inside of this looked like and show everybody what's going on. So if we get up in here, you can see we've got the O-ring and we've actually got two of those little metal retainer clips and that's what keeps this in place. With no feature to push it and pull it out, they say they actually want you to turn it counterclockwise to pull it out, but not a fan, right? We've already discussed that, don't buy these things. This is just me wanting to tear it apart, take a look and actually show you guys what's going on as well. Now, this valve, you can see this valve is very cheap plastic as well. There's an O-ring right there. And that, when you pull this, man, it's so hard to, that actually seals this off and makes the connection. But like I said, I've seen these pop. I've seen these break. I've seen all kinds of crazy things happen. Don't buy these things. So another thing I wanted to check is how far this actually went in from the O-ring and it looks like it's about three eighths. After the O-ring, this one goes in about the same, right? So three eighths pipe in after the O-ring. So it's a good amount, but if you didn't put that in long enough or you cut this pipe a little too short, man, you're just waiting for a disaster to happen there. Obviously, there's no quarter turn feature, right? This is a push-pull feature, which might be nice if it was a little bit of a different design for this. But 
and if it was metal, might be different. This is a PVC um, braided nylon reinforced line. I mean, these are quite common in a lot of different things. I mean, they, they make it like that nylon woven makes it a little bit more, you know, stable and strong, but still it's not as quality as this, right? This is a, between this and regular copper tubing, those are two standards that I would go with. Um, the fitting, I mean, it's still brass. It still seems pretty quality. The rubber is actually black. These deteriorate a lot faster than the white. Okay, so white or red are actually gonna, they just last longer. Very proven. And that's what we have looking at that, right? I just wanted to take a look. So I just wanted to show you guys inside what it looked like and do a little comparison at the same time to something that actually is used today. Okay, and so with the shark bite fitting, you know, the one thing you wanna make sure you do is you measure. Right, you wanna measure and make sure that your line, that your pipe is actually gonna go in and it goes in almost that entire way, all right? Or they have a little tool. I don't own one of those. Maybe I'll buy one to shoot a video on it. But like, look, I feel like if we go up to that M, it should be pretty good, right? So pop that bad boy in there. And yeah, sucked it up way past that M. So good to roll. Now we know that's in. You kind of feel two clicks. Right, but the nice thing about this is it actually can come out. And where I don't, I can never find that little tool. I actually just use my little adjustable jaw. Get that bad boy on there. You can you can grab it and pinch it on you know three different sides. And then you're able to just take this. Like you kind of have to push down and pull out at the same time. But if you, you get that in there like that, you're able to push that down, you see that, and then this just slides right out, okay? And with the shark bite, you're gonna get a couple little grooves on that. It's not much though, it actually allows it to slide out. You could totally reuse that, not gonna be a big deal. Now, with this bad boy here, you can't, undo this well you can but not without really putting some damage on that pipe right so you get that in there and i mean it goes in quite a ways as well you can see it actually goes in quite a bit more than the shark bite but there's nothing right here to protect it they do give you another metal ring that will go right here to kind of clamp on as well. Just an extra little precaution, I guess, or a pipe holder, they said, that will stay right there. Well, then you're just looking at twisting this counterclockwise to get it out. And now, look at that. You've got tons of little scratches over the whole thing. Try to get an O-ring to seal on that it ain't happening dude now you got to cut it but you can't because it's too short and you got to figure out something else don't buy these if you have these look at getting them all replaced right video coming on how to take them off every kind of pipe you have and actually still be able to use that pipe when it's done so these right here they're built pretty solid but buy both of these individual. It's the same amount of money and you actually can replace the hose or the valve if you needed to without having to replace the other thing. Save yourself a little bit of cash. All right? All right, so there we go. The quarter turn style angle stop. Just a little brass ball valve style angle stop right there with a little nylon washer on top. And then of course it was Loctited in. So... <laughs> They really didn't want it coming out. All right, so the most quality thing in this video are the tools, all right? I'll put a link in the description box below. As far as these products go, I really hope you guys enjoyed the comparison, the contrast, open them up, take it a look and see how they're ticking, all right? Not a big fan of one piece angle stop supply line combos. That's why I keep shooting videos about them. 
maybe we can get them off the street and maybe we can stop people from buying these things, all right? Especially contractors. Don't buy the cheap stuff, man, all right? And then as far as shark bite goes, well, you know what? Sometimes you're gonna use shark bite fittings. I get that, but don't buy the one piece style, right? Not being able to change this out and actually having to replace the whole thing, it's just a waste to me. It kind of sucks, all right? You can buy just a quarter turn valve and it'll hook you right up. I really hope you folks are enjoying the channel. If you could please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. And if you have questions that I can't answer or you want me to get some eyes on something, send me a picture on Facebook or email me. I'd love to help you out. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon. Okay, so this right here is actually a shark bite one piece angle stop supply line combo, right? This is very common these days. You see these in the store all over. You can buy these all day for between 17 and $20 all day long, okay? This is easy, it's solid metal. This is a braided flex stainless steel supply line, meaning there's a hose inside and all this is interwoven stainless steel for a no burst feature. And it comes with this interesting gas cap feature for easy install on your faucet. All right, you can see that this is solid brass connector and then they just put plastic and they said it's kind of like a gas tap, gas. So they said this is kind of like a gas cap style of connection. Like once you get this on there and get it started, once you start hearing clicks like you're a gas cap, then you're stopping and you're good and that's gonna create a good seal. Interesting. I've never tried one of these out. We might put this on something at some point just so I can test it and see what's going on. I do like, this is a quarter turn style ball valve. This is good. I just wish that it was two piece. You know, I actually looked online, looked this up and they said that you cannot replace this. They don't sell a replacement part. It does look like it comes apart. We're going to crack it here in a couple minutes and uh, check that out. I just want to see what the inside is. Maybe we'll see if that ball is actually metal. It looks like it should be. Here, I guess we can just change it right there. If you can see that right there, it's just a little bit too big and it's trying to round it off. So I grabbed some little Kanai pecs. These are seven inches. And let's see what we're looking at here. These bad boys grew up like nobody's business, all right? And so I can already tell, if you can look over here in that setup, like I'm not even touching that other side and we've got a great grip on this. So let's see if we can break it free. It's in there pretty good. Oh my gosh, no, no. They did not want this to come apart. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. They made that rock and roll, dude. Okay. Well, just so you know, can I pack Cobras, man? They grip like nobody's business. And that's why. Shark Bite definitely didn't want this to come apart because they put some red Loctite on that bad boy. That beast was in there, dude. 